Hello Internet, welcome to Lex Universe. So, I guess you click on this video because you want to see my first impressions from India. And don't worry, you will get it, but we are still in Prague. We are departing from the Prague airport, then transferring in Istanbul. And when I say we, I actually mean me because I'm traveling solo. But, and then we are getting to Delhi, which should overall take some, I don't know, like 10 hours. It's not that bad, so, uh, right. So let's go catch the plane. I didn't and I don't know why I said it so slow. Right, so I just fell out my Indian e visa or ETA and I actually have one point uh, there are multiple things that are kind of difficult you need to have a specific picture of yourself which basically is the case in many visas but here you have to have it of certain uh, of certain uh, size and and format that's something that can cost you some years of your life but uh, probably the most important thing that you should know if you're applying for Indian visa is uh, that you will have to have a so-called local reference which means uh, there will have to be someone who can vouch for you that knows you and that the government or the immigration office can contact which um, felt like a big problem in the beginning so I wasn't sure how, what to do about it and I googled a little bit and so I can give you the answer right away uh, you can basically add there your hotel so you need to have at least one hotel booked when you're applying for the visa and then you will just add the name of the hotel uh, the address and also the phone number and when we have this uh, it will work out hopefully they will uh, approve the visa but well if you're listening to this then they probably have so well lucky me and now bon voyage let's go to it so that was a few thoughts from my visa application right after I did that but now I have one more thing uh, you will receive an email and it says visa granted oh well but that's actually not the document that you will need you need to print out a page directly from the Indian visa website where you can log in with your uh, identification number and your passport number and that you will need to have printed for the check-in and also for getting to India so yeah Luckily, there are computers and printers on the Prague airport, so I'm covered. Well, so I've only just now bought some uh, trips in India. So in the next videos, we will explore Delhi and we'll also go to Jaipur and Dhaka, which will be like three main spots that I will go to from Delhi. And then I will move on to Varanasi, where you will find the famous Ganges. So that's basically my plan for the next week. And that's your plan for several weeks where I will be posting these videos. And right now, I'm actually quite tired. I don't know how, why, because it's really not that late. I mean, it's late here, but it's like 4 o'clock in my home time zone. So I don't know what's happening. I think I'm just bored. The thing is that I managed basically to make reservations for all my tours by WhatsApp with just one company. I really don't know anything about them, so hopefully it will be fine, but uh, that's quite convenient actually. What's worrying me a little bit 
that basically everyone, like my hotel, uh, my tour operators, everyone is warning me, beware of people that will try to scam you, which kind of feel like the whole of India will try to scam me. And I really hope that's not the case. So unless I'm really mistaken, I think I have a, a aisle seat, which is perfect for long haul flights. Which seats? Which seat do you prefer? It's the middle seat, right? <clears throat> so the disembarking was kind of weird. Uh, there were customs officers that were randomly checking some passports, but considering how long that took, they probably just look at you and, and so you have a passport, you're yeah, okay. So, yeah, not sure what that was about. But then you have to fill out this immigration card uh, before you get to the passport control, uh, and then it's quite simple. But right now I'm waiting for my luggage, and they're just like randomly taking the luggage from the council. So, right now I don't know. Whether I'm like just like whether I'm supposed to look at the carousel, whether it comes, or whether I should like randomly walking around and trying to find it. So <laughs> that's still the case. Yeah. All right. So I was a little bit worried that my luggage didn't arrive, but eventually it was on a completely different stall because apparently, although I bought the ticket from Turkish Airlines, I actually was flying with Indigo. It was a completely different place. But anyway, I got it. It's good. I managed to activate my SIM card. Well, I didn't. I had to buy another one. I will do some money. I will show you later. So now uh, let's find the metro and go to the city. I'm not sure what you can see, but the air looks... Well, like shit. I'm not sure if I shouldn't be wearing a face mask. Hopefully it's just morning and it will get better. Well, I hope I'm at the right platform. But it says New Delhi Station, so I guess so. I'm not entirely sure I'm on the right spot, but oh, I am on the right spot. I'm just not sure that I'm going in the right direction. That's because I'm somewhere underground. That's I'm gonna get GPS here, but I have a good feeling about this. Sure, what I was expecting, but it's actually not that warm. I don't even know what the latitude of Delhi is, but apparently not that south. Well, if I survive this, I'll survive everything. So the surroundings of the hotel are exclusive. But this is funny. Well, the toilet with the bed again. 
but the shower is somehow located directly in the middle of the bathroom so hello it's room 301 will be possible to order some food yeah yeah but i would like uh, paneer butter masala with three chapati and a banana shake thank you and now let's see what they will bring because i have no idea what is that what i just ordered and i don't even know if i pronounced it correctly but you know well that looks good so i think this is the paneer and these are the things that i don't remember what they're called you know i would show you how to how i eat it but i'm not sure how to do it because i think i need both hands and i don't have my tripod so yeah i'm not sure why but i got two spoons hmm. well that's really possible spicy now comes the lemon with order pretty much I go to an Indian restaurant or restaurant in India or just restaurant as they call it here I have to google like everything on the menu because I have no idea what it is so no food yet but there are only two plates and I have a feeling some more are coming see that's what I thought some more so I think I'm supposed to take it from this and put it on this plate So this is obviously not the first impression because I didn't have like four dinners at once but I just wanted to show you more of Indian food that I ordered here. So today I got paneer chili and paneer pakora. So let's give it a try. Let's chill it, it's probably gonna be hot, right? Hmm, not that much actually. Hmm, that's very good. Actually, I haven't had meat since I came here, so if you're a vegetarian, I think India has the best choice. So here is the Indian money, the rupees. Mahatma Gandhi, obviously. That is a nice symbol for the rupees. Oh, this looks good. Uh, they'll <clears throat> wait for this till the end of this series because I will explore Delhi with you and show you this place. Well, prices are generally just fine. Uh, nothing extra cheap when you compare it to, for example, Southeastern Asia. But, well, definitely cheaper than Europe. At least the kind of Europe that I know. Right. Another thing, I have never seen a single grocery store. And there is a lot of rubbish on the streets. Where do they get it? Where do they buy it? I have no idea. But if you know, please let me know in the comments below. Is actually, so the matter is actually quite good and it covers pretty much the majority of the city which is weird because when you look at the streets it doesn't really strike you as a city that has kind of an efficient public transportation so either there is something very wrong with it and I haven't figured it out or they just don't want to adapt because I mean you have seen the streets that's a nightmare and I think that if you want to travel somewhere, it, may, it must take you so much longer to go on these streets. But if you are Indian and you're watching this and you know how to drive here, please explain, because I don't get it. So I found the first thing that kind of looked like a grocery store. So I bought something. A little soup. God knows what. But it's diet. That's good. And turtle chips. So one thing I've realized, I'm actually accommodated in one of the worst neighborhoods in Delhi. That's why it doesn't feel that great. It's probably not really that safe. Um, and like it's just for a few days and then I'm moving on to another city, but... Hmm. Yeah. By the way, it's basically the whole area located near to the new, new Delhi station, so better avoid it. that's everywhere right and since I'm in India Maharaja McChicken 
these national versions of McDonald's are really funny. <laughs> and those were some of my first impressions from India. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there wasn't that much action in it, but actually, it kind of came up. It actually kind of came out much better than I expected. There's a lot more th stuff in it. I actually really enjoyed using a landline phone to order food because that really brings me some back somewhere to the, into the 90s when I was cool. But anyway, how you, how did you enjoy this? That's not your only option how to order food. They have all these apps as we have in Europe. But this is much cooler. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, check out my other social media. I'll see you next time because we are going to Jaipur.